people will say, for example, uh, I buy water and I pour this water, I pour libation with water that I purchase. So, well, I wouldn't give to the spirit the water that I don't drink. If I buy water to drink, then that's the water I will offer to the others. If I drink the water from the, uh, from the faucet, then that's what I would offer. If I go in the river, I drink the water from the river. And I don't think it's going to make me sick. Because I'm dealing with the spirit. The spirit of the sea. And the spirit of whatever. And it is the spirit that gives life to matter. And it is the spirit that controls matter. So even an earthquake, if we can be stable enough within and call on the spirit of the quake, we can sit down and not do anything. The spirit of the quake will do what it has to do and it will respect you because you respected it. We don't see it as any kind of tragedy or disaster or whatever. No. It was a necessary action for a very good reason. The important thing is to try to capture why the Spirit decided to do this cleanup set up for us and what it is that we have to do after His work. And that too, the founders showed us. You see, Dessaline would make his strategies, would always deal with the Spirit. Everything Dessaline did, for example, on um, March 22nd, 1802, Dessaline made us, there was a very desperate situation. We have barely 500 men in a fort, the fort of Crétapio. 12,000 French troops encircling them. Rochambeau had said, put, set up his table, he's coming, he's gonna go crush a fly, and we'll be back in less than a half hour to eat. That was on March 2nd, 1802. March 2nd, 3rd, 5th, 10th, 18, 20, the fly is still not dead. 24 men to 1, 12,500. 24 men, French military against each Haitian military. 24 to 1. Yet, we survived. Dessaline, in his speech on March 22nd, he told the people, Listen carefully to what I'm going to tell you. Open your ears wide. Listen attentively to what I'm saying. The fight that we're taking, we're, we're having here, is a fight for freedom. The entire universe will come to our aid. The nature will bring rain. The rain will bring yellow fever. Yellow fever will diminish the number of French soldiers in front of us. Sometimes we will fight, sometimes we will hide. But the day will come where we come down the mountain and we will crush the French army. That day, I promise you, I will give you independence. March 22, 1802, two years before it. Whether you take speeches of Christophe, Toussaint, Dessaline, you find that constantly in their strategy, they plan on what nature will have to do. They never make a strategy that is purely, you know, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. No, they always take nature into consideration. And they know nature has to do his work first. After his work, then I get to do my work. That's the Asian way of thinking. But today, our rulers have forgotten that. How many of us have sat on the floor, on the ground, and talked to the land about all the shaking, asking why, asking what can we do for you to calm down? Please forgive us, whatever has made you angry. Help us go through this the correct way. Show us the way. 
a few years back, maybe two years or three years, a major hurricane was announced for Cuba. And it was supposed to destroy Havana. All the predictions said the eye of the cyclone is on Cuba, on Havana. It's going to destroy Havana more than 90% of blah, 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 blah. They said everything they wanted to say. And then Mr. Castro spoke to the storm on television. I sat here and looked at mine. The man said, I don't remember what was the name. Maybe it was Ivan or something. Listen, Ivan. I'm told you're going to come and destroy my town here. I don't see why. There are plenty other places you could go, like Florida, for example. <laughs> we don't need you here. We have plenty of problems to. He talked. And of course, newspapers had a ball. Journalist. He's totally crazy now. He's talking to the storm. But well, you know what happened? The storm went by, looked at Havana, and carried on. Not even a dent in Havana. That's a rule of the people. Rule according to the tradition of the people. We are on earth people. And the doom is a earth people's concept. The earth is here, but it is the spirit of the earth that interests us. Earth is our mother, it gives us everything. So we have to be careful how we deal with it. We can't do any more kind of thing. And Rudu teaches you that. In Vudum, even the structure of government is established. When you look at a Vudu ceremony, Every, every ceremony will begin with Legba. If Legba don't show up and nothing happening yet, because he is the one to open the door. He is the one to show the way. He is the one to give the power. Ogu can do nothing till Legba has empowered him. Legba, and if you look at Haiti's history, a man called Toussaint Louverture. Open door. Toussaint. But before that, let's look what was. He was first named into slavery. He was called Francois Dominique Breda. Francois means that which belongs to the French and live according to the traditions of the French. Dominique, born on a Sunday. Breda carrying a load. As he began to free himself mentally, he stopped using the name Francois. It's Dominique Breda. After a while, he stopped using Dominique. He calls himself Toussaint Breda. After a while, he dropped the Breda and calls himself Toussaint L'Ouverture. The one who has the power of all the saints open the way, the door opener, and this is the man who's going to open the way to independence. Bookman duty, bookman, the man of the book, duty, the book of our duty. What does he leave us? The only citation we have of him, he tells us. The one who created the sun, make the waves in the ocean, he is your father. And he demands that you free yourself, that you avenge the wrong that has been done. He orders that you no longer use the symbols and images of the gods of the white who continuously snatches the light of life out of your eyes. Who will lead us? So listen to your in your heart is the voice of liberty.